So with that, on to the Yumland net with us. And so around we go. Just ignore all the viruses. Or not. Well, fine then. You're not gonna pull me over a pit. Well, that timed out poorly. There now. And another one. So let's see what we have here. Let's see. Alas, neither of those will get boosted by Gutsoul. Okay. If you really want to die there, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, Yumland and Utopia area are now connected, Len. But we're not quite done here just yet. We need to go the other way, too. All the way down here, viruses. Will you let me run this time? Thank you. Mystery data? Well, bugger. Let that be a lesson to you. And so here we go again. Let's see here. At least those are gone. Those are the biggest annoyances by far. And we'll just boost this. And you go away. Okay, Yumland area and ACDC2 are now connected, Len. And phone call. It's a phone call. Who could it be? Len, this is Dad. Can you hear me? Yes, Dad. Is something wrong? The criminal who damaged the net is hiding in Park Area 1. However, officials from Netopia have no jurisdiction to operate in the Electopia net, and Electopia officials are still without communication. Okay, leave it to me. Thanks, Len. First, find the official Navi in Netopia area. He'll give you more details. I'm depending on you, Len. Yes, sir. And so with that, out we go. Now there's finally a reason for us to go to Netopia. Well, other than having fought Thunderman. And so we're going to call a quick refreshing pause here. Back in a moment. And we're back. And it's time for us to head back into the Natopia area. We have a contact we need to find there. And really the quickest way to get there is to go once more through the hotel sign. So, off we go. Just go through here. Right out here. And there's our guy. Hello, I'm an official from Netopia. You're Mega Man. You father told me all about you. It seems that the fugitive is hiding in the park area. If you know where he is, go get him. Yes, indeed, but there's a problem. 
The place where he's hiding is not easy to get to. Normally there's no access. The only way to get there is through the Undernet. The, the Undernet? Yes, indeed. That pit of scum and villainy known as the Undernet. Even the officials are hesitant to head into there. Then, then we'll go. What? Are you sure? You heard about us from my father, right? Yes, indeed, but, but you're still children. Skill at net battling doesn't depend on age. Well, obviously, because we have to do everything. Please, let us go. Indeed. Here, take this then. And we get town key data. This data will open a door in the town area. The area beyond that connects to the undernet. Good luck. And so with that, back we go. The quickest way to get where we're going is going to be to use some of our banner links. So, right down here. And from here, we can go to Jomon Electronics. So, let's see. I think this is actually going to go a little bit faster. Yeah, that's what I need. Right around here. Viruses. You silly viruses. Right then. He... he jumped over that door. We have to follow him. And we'll just open the way. So welcome to Town Area 4, where we have some conveyors to deal with. And we get some Zenny, always nice, and some locked mystery data. So let's see what we have here. We get... Windrack A. Okay then. Low enemy in front, range 3. I think it's basically like a wide sword that pushes enemies back. Something like that. That seems familiar to me. But there's also something over here, other than just some green mystery data. There's a hidden path. And more viruses. Well, at least these viruses, I guess they're trying a little bit. Still not too much, though. But anyway, following this path... Not bad, kid, making it all the way out here. I haven't talked to anyone in three years. I'm in a good mood, so I guess I'll give you this. And we get Gunsoul 2G. I found that deep in the undernet, but it's not the kind of chip that people like me use. I wonder why a chip like that would be in the undernet. Why, indeed. But for now, we need to head back. Bloody convoluted conveyors. Let's see here. Just weaken everyone a bit at a time here. because I must know what's in the box. I guess just the same sort of thing as any of the other town areas. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well. Beyond here is the Undernet. I think that you would best turn back. But really going this way... We're just going to get the slightest sample of the Undernet. It's pretty much a very solid path that we have to follow here. We'll be exploring the Undernet proper later on. But we can still have mystery data that's actually a virus. get white web 1L. Three bug frags, nice! And suddenly, welcome to park area. And we get anti-sword N.
and here's why we had to come this way. So you're the one who's destroying the net. You, you're Mega Man, aren't you? I know you. You're the one that Laser Man mentioned. So you refused Laser Man's invitation and have become a menace to our organization. L Laser Man, you're with Nebula. You should be more careful who you speak to. And now, time to be deleted. And so, viruses plus heal Navi. Let's see. Well, that got rid of most of it. And there. Ugh, you got me. But fear not, our mighty leader's plan is now in motion. The asteroid is ours. I knew it, you were after the asteroid. <laughs> our plan of darkness is nearly complete. I'll smash your plan into little pieces. Right, Mega Man? Dead right. That's what you think, little boy. Mega Man, as I am wiped out, so too will you. Into thin air. Are we going Shining Browser Crash again? Mega Man! Mega Man! Answer me, Mega Man! Ah! Meanwhile... Ah! Dr. Regal, what's wrong? Oh no, the transmitter I gave to Lan has stopped sending its signal. But if the transmitter has stopped transmitting... It means that Lan's Navi has, whether due to the nebula or for some other reason, been deleted. It can't be. B but that means the plan to send a Navi to the asteroid can't even be attempted. I knew it was too much for a little sixth grader. We're finished. Not so. There is one other option. What's that? To send a different Navi instead. It's too late to change our plan. But we have no time to search for another net battler. We'll send my Navi. I may not be Lan's equal, but I am a net battler. Does anyone object to this approach? Well then, let's get started with our preparations. Lan. Mega Man! Mega Man! And la Mega Man, is that you? Suddenly plot barriers. Literally. Hi, Mega. Saved in a flash. Just one shot to destroy a sturdy barrier like that. Nothing can withstand this. Lan's father told us of the situation by mail. Only you can save the planet, Mega Man. Thank you all. Leave things to us. You're the planet's only hope, so go and do what's needed. We all believe in you, Lan. No matter what. Dex, Yai, Mail. You guys, by just being here you make me feel invincible. Just wait and see. I'm going to save our world. Mega Man, let's get back to Naxa. Okay, thank you all. Thing is, if we go back to Naxa, that's basically enacting the end game, and I'm not quite ready for that. There are some things I want to cover first. The first of which is, during all of that, I never actually got to demonstrate the Red Sun chip. So I'm gonna purposefully get into a battle where I can show what that does, so back in a moment. And so here we are ready to demonstrate Red Sun. Now, outside of battle it just shows question marks as far as its damage output, but here it says 100. Also notable, there seems to be some kind of a bias at work. It didn't matter how many battles I got into, I never had Red Sun in the starting chip selection. So either the RNG is just having a laugh, or you can't get Giga Class chips in the first chip selection. I'm not sure if that's true, so don't quote me on that, and if anybody has any information to the contrary, feel free to let me know, but I never had this show up in the first six chips. So anyway, time to show this thing off. We'll just have to wait for somebody to get in range. It bombards three squares ahead, after all. There we go. So yeah, that's kind of lackluster. It is painfully focused. It only hits that one exact panel. Even the final impact, despite it cracking all panels surrounding it, 
it does no splash damage. Not only that, but you might have noticed, since these spikies have 100 HP even, it didn't one-shot them, so I'm not quite sure how the damage is calculated. Maybe that final impact does 100 damage, but the others certainly weren't. So for a Giga Glass chick, that's kind of underwhelming, actually. Now I know you can raise the damage output, though. It's kind of like some of the higher level Navi chips, that they get stronger the faster you delete the hardest version of that Navi. Though, I'm not entirely sure what you have to do to raise the power of Red Sun. If anybody in the comments knows for sure what you have to do, feel free to inform me of that, because I really don't know. Now, being a Giga Class chip, Red Sun is, of course, exclusive to Red Sun. You don't get it over in Blue Moon. Instead, you get something else. So like I said, over on Blue Moon you do not get the Red Sun chip. No prizes for guessing, but instead you get Blue Moon B. So let's see what we have here. Blue Moon drains three ahead. Well, okay then. Once again, let's just drop Area Grab for the purposes of demonstration, and we'll be back when I can show what this does. And so with that, it's time to show the Blue Moon chip. It says it does 200 damage, so let's give it a try. Nice big impressive laser, but still pretty lackluster for a Giga Class chip. It does all of its damage in one strike. It also does no damage to the terrain. So overall, I want to say Red Sun might be the more useful chip. On the outset, I think they both do comparable damage. One has to bear in mind how many times Red Sun strikes. That in and of itself is a bit of an advantage, because you get more uses out of boost chips like Attack Plus 10. Also, the fact that it cracks all the panels, it makes it harder for opponents to move around and easier to pin them down, which has more all-purpose usefulness. Now, Blue Moon does have After Effects, but generally just in Link battles. Striking with Blue Moon can disrupt the opponent's Navi cast and even drain the power of charge shots from Soul Unisons. So that's kind of interesting. But a lot more limited in its usefulness. Now, I did look up how you strengthen the two chips. It purely has to do with Link battles against the opposite version of the game. Red Sun is strengthened if you have more victories against Blue Moon opponents, and Blue Moon is strengthened if you have more victories against Red Sun opponents. I'm not sure of the max power levels, though. If anybody wants to fill me in on that, feel free. But with that, that's where we're going to call it for now. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time when we start exploring the Undernet. Until then, fare thee well.